So today, we have another Spain on a Fork travel series where the Spain on a Fork kitchen takes a virtual visit to one of the many beautiful countries around the world and we create one of their dishes. Anyways, today, we're making a classic pasta dish from Italy that's not only super easy to make, but it's packed with so many great flavors. We're talking penne gialle. This is also known as penne allo saferano. Now, this is a dish where pasta meets risotto as the cooking method in the pasta is exactly how you cook rice in a risotto, giving the pasta the most incredible textures and flavors, folks. Now, this is pasta dish super delicious, but it's another one of those recipes where less is more and simplicity meets extraordinary. Let's begin by adding in three cups of vegetable broth into a saucepan, which is 710 milliliters. To make this recipe, you can also use chicken broth or beef broth. You'll find a link on how to make my homemade vegetable broth in the description box below and iCard above. We'll also pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. As always, the saffron threads I'm using are from Golden Saffron. Like I always tell you, this is some top-notch stuff. Once again, you'll find a link where you can get it in the description box below. And we'll heat it with a medium-high heat. At the same time, I'm going to grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm going to thinly slice one medium-sized onion and cut four cloves of garlic into large chunks. After heating the olive oil for about four minutes, I'm going to add in the sliced onion and the chunks of garlic. And you want to make sure to mix the ingredients around continuously, that way everything evenly sautés and those chunks of garlic don't brown too quickly, which can easily give them a bitter flavor. After about 4 minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, and the chunks of garlic are lightly sautéed, it's time to add in the pasta. Once again, for this recipe, I'm using penne pasta, but you can use other thick cut pastas here, such as rigatoni. I'm going to measure out 2 and a quarter cups, which is 8 ounces, or 225 grams, and add the pasta into the pan. and we'll season it with a little sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll continue to mix the ingredients around continuously and we're gonna lightly fry the pasta just between one to two minutes. After lightly frying the pasta for about two minutes, it's time to start adding in the broth. I'm going to grab half a cup of our saffron infused vegetable broth, which is 125 milliliters, add it into the pan. And once again, we're going to mix this continuously until that broth has been absorbed by the pasta and then continue adding the broth in there in half cup increments, which once again is 125 milliliters. And you want to cook your pasta in this technique until all the broth has been incorporated. Now, by using this technique, it's going to help release the starch from the pasta, which at the end is going to give this dish the most incredible textures and flavors. Once we've added the three cups of broth and it's been fully absorbed by the pasta, it's been about 11 minutes since I added the first half cup. It should be perfectly cooked al dente. You know, you can always pierce it with a fork and if it easily goes in there, but with some resistance, it's ready to go. If you find that your pasta is not fully cooked at this point, no big deal. Just place a lid on the pan and turn off the heat and let it sit there for about five minutes as that steam will finish cooking up the pasta. In my case, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat Finally grate in about half a cup of cheese over the pasta, which is 60 grams. I'm using a Spanish manchego cheese that's been aged for six months to give this pasta dish more of a Spanish flair. But if you want to keep it more authentic, add in some Parmesan cheese. And we'll top it off with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our penne gial is done, also known as penne alle saferrano. Such a beautiful pasta dish from the country of Italy, super easy to make, incredible aromas coming out of it. But the beauty of this dish is going to be the technique on how we cook that pasta as it's going to have the most incredible texture and flavor. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. You know, sometimes when you're making a recipe, yes, sometimes you don't have to have a bunch of ingredients to create an incredible dish. And this pasta is gonna prove that. This looks seriously good. Here we go. First things first, Viva Italia. 
And what a beautiful recipe. The penne pasta is perfectly cooked al dente, but with the technique we cooked it in, it has the most incredible texture, the saffron, a beautiful explosion of goodness, and that kiss of manchego cheese to add a little bit of Spanish touch to this pasta dish takes it to the next level, folks. Serve this pasta dish next to a garden salad and a bottle of Spanish wine for the ultimate Mediterranean experience. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Jay Edwards, Kevin Moran, Richard Esby, Lisa Larea, Edward Alvarez, and Marco Steenburgen. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and like to support the show, you'll find my Patreon in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that we are Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.